At the 2012 Olympics in London, Great Britain had a football team for the first time since 1960. Team JB were managed by Stuart Pearce and the former England left back had to pick a squad of 18 with three of those players allowed to be over the age of 23. So five years on from London 2012, where are the players who represented Team JB now? The first goalkeeper was Jack Butland. The stopper was still at Birmingham during the Olympics but would join Stoke a year later. Butland would get his chance in the first team when Asmir Begovic headed to Chelsea and he's been the number one ever since with the only thing able to stop him being injury which saw him miss most of this season. Jason Steele was back up to Butland. The Olympics was probably about as good as it got for Steele, going on loan to Northampton in 2014 before leaving Middlesbrough permanently for Blackburn in 2015 where he has just been relegated to League One. Our first defender is Neil Taylor. The left back was one of five Welshmen in the squad and after a few solid seasons in the Premier League with Swansea Taylor dropped down to the championship with Villa in January. Unfortunately for the 28 year old, most will now know him as the man who regrettably broke Seamus Coleman's leg in an international game earlier in the year. Next up it's Ryan Bertrand. He would follow up unlikely Champions League glory in Chelsea Blue by representing Great Britain at the Olympics and he's now with Southampton where he's one of the country's finest left backs and Chelsea may regret selling Bertrand as soon as they did. Stephen Corker was at the heart of the defence and he looked like he was going to develop into a top centre back when the Olympics came round. Since then, Corker has been relegated with Cardiff and QPR, had strange loan spells with Southampton and Liverpool, before nearly heading to Russia, but his move to Lokomotiv Moscow collapsed at the final minute, meaning Corker is still with Queen's Park Rangers. Next we've got Craig Dawson. I'll be honest, I didn't have a clue who Craig Dawson was back in 2012, and when he did get into the West Brom team, I thought he was some veteran of the game. Nowadays, he's a must for a fantasy team, along with Gareth McCauley, but the latter had nothing to do with the Olympics, so moving on. James Tompkins also made the squad. The Olympics has been the closest Tompkins got to full international football, having failed to go any further than the under-21 setup with England. He left his boyhood club West Ham last summer and is now with Crystal Palace, whom he joined for £10 million, with Alan Pardew finally getting his man after seemingly trying and failing to buy him in every transfer window while he was Newcastle boss. Our final defender is Micka Richards. The first of the over 23 players, it's all went tits up since 2012 for Richards. He's had a forgetful loan spell of Fiorentina, been released by Man City, suffered relegation with Aston Villa and missed the majority of this season with an knee injury. In midfield we had Danny Rose. Yep, the Spurs left back was still considered a left winger at this point in his career. Following his involvement at London 2012, Rose would have a career-defining loan spell at Sunderland which helped him develop his craft as a fullback and he is now the best England has to offer. Next we've got Tom Cleverley. A handy little player on his day, Cleverley is constantly ridiculed for basically being average. He would leave Old Trafford permanently in 2015 and joined Everton but his time in Merseyside is set to end this summer with his loan deal at Watford already set to be made permanent when the season ends. Joe Allen also made Team GB, and this was years before he became the goal scoring midfielder he is today. The midfielder was dubbed the Welsh Perlo at Liverpool, especially with his long flowing hair and thick beard, or was Perlo just the Italian Joe Allen? Either way, Allen moved to Stoke last summer and has had a cracking first year with the Potters. Ryan Giggs was the oldest member of Team GB, captaining the side at the age of 38. Following David Moyes' sacking in 2014, Giggs would temporarily take charge of Man United, with the Red Devils literally giving it Giggsy till end of the season, as Andy Tate infamously said. Remember him? The Welsh winger would become Louis van Gaal's assistant boss and is now looking for his first job in management whilst also working as a pundit. Next we've got Jack Cork. The midfielder was a steady member of Southampton's midfield in 2012, and now he's a steady member of Swansea's. Nothing special, nothing offensive, he's just there. Being steady. Aaron Ramsey was one of the top players in Team JB, having begun to regain form following his leg break. The Welshman would go on to have a fantastic season in 2013-14, but has since gone slightly backwards, never really reaching those heights again. He did have an impressive European Championships though with Wales, where he reached the semi-finals. Our final midfielder is Scott Sinclair. At the time, Sinclair was still with Swansea, but that summer the winger would join Manchester City and commit career suicide. Following a loan spell at West Brom and then a move to Aston Villa, Sinclair has finally got his career back on track at Celtic, where he was named Player of the Year and Players Player of the Year. 
The final over 23 player was Craig Bellamy. The Welshman was 33 at the time and still with Liverpool. However, that summer new boss Brendan Rodgers would get shot off Bellamy, setting him to his boyhood club Cardiff where he ended his career. Now, Bellamy is often seen as a pundit, no doubt saying something offensive. Marvin Sordell also made the side, strangely. At the age of 26, Sordell is already a journeyman, with Burton Albion being his ninth club. Sordell's best season was back in 2010-11, where he managed 12 goals with Watford. The Olympics was probably the pinnacle for Sordell, and the lads didn't even get a medal. And finally, we've got Daniel Sturridge. In 2012, he was just 22 and playing out wide for Chelsea, having netted 11 goals in 30 league games in the build-up to the Olympics. Sturridge would initially show Chelsea what they had let go by scoring 21 league goals in his first full season with Liverpool, but since then he's been plagued by injury, spending more time in the treatment room than on the pitch. So that's where Team GB from the 2012 Olympics are now. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.